Welcome to Street Spec RC. Today, let's check out the Arma in Fraction 3S. I had this kit for six months now and made some upgrades and modifications to make it drive the way I wanted to. This kit offers a new experience in terms of driving and maintenance. I'll also show some technical aspects and features of this kit. It is an 8th scale, so it bigger than a 10th scale touring car, but slightly smaller than a 10th scale short course truck. Here are the tire size comparison against a 10th scale touring car and short course truck. The Arma Infraction 3S includes a thick front bumper for impacts. It also has a deflector for small stones and debris. The shocks come with dust shield for added protection. The front C-hubs and rear uprights have built-in dust shields to protect the CVD cross joints. A nice diffuser comes standard with the kit. The lower control arms are flexible which improves the survivability of the vehicle during hard crashes but also affects its handling, meaning steering is not that precise. All suspension links and steering links are mounted in a captured style to prevent rods from popping out easily. Note that adjustable turnbuckles were installed to replace the stock ones. Composite telescopic CVDs are included to lessen the kit's maintenance on the drivetrain. Arma branding under the chassis. You can find the Arma branding on almost all parts of the kit. Not many RC company do this. It could be for marketing reasons or Arma is just proud of their brand, or this just their way to make the kit special. There are no performance gains in this, but I don't mind at all. Whether you are working on this kit or being frustrated changing broken parts, you are constantly being reminded of Arma. Arma supplies you with speed gear and some tools. This special tool will allow you to remove the wheel nuts, open the shocks and make adjustments to the slipper clutch. Basically, the Infraction 3S is a four-wheel drive all-road kit running on an eighth scale platform with on-road suspension parts. It comes with Spectrum Electronics, motor, and servo as a ready-to-run kit. I ditched the Spectrum Electronics and upgraded it. It uses a slipper clutch instead of a center differential. The chassis flexes a little bit and might need a center chassis brace. I used Hobbywing Easy Run Censored 140 Amps Max 10 and Generation 2 Censored Motor, Sanwa Antenna Less Receiver and Power HD Low Profile Digital Servo. For the body, I opened up the fender louvers to reduce drag during speed runs. It took some time to dremel those fender louvers, but it is satisfying. I also ditched the stock tethered body clips since it scratches the body more. This is the slipper clutch hub and bearing. As you can see, it developed burned marks or glazing where the bearing sits. The bearing is also trashed. The splines have worn as well. It should be like this. Composite differential ring gears and input gears are already worn. I ordered the metal upgrades. Engineering could have been better to reduce drivetrain wear. It could have been smoother and quieter. However, there is still joy owning this kit. It is easy to maintain. It offers a unique experience in RC driving and it is street worthy. Thanks for watching Street Spec RC.